Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Tester Unlimited 2 series. Today we're going to be talking about my awesome collection of Zondas. I have practically every Zonda except the DLC one. So this is the Pagani Zonda Chintwig, Chinkwig, or something like that, I don't know how to pronounce it. Then this is the uh, Pagani Zonda Roadster F, this is the car, the Zonda that beat the Bugatti Bear on 16.4 around uh, Top Gear Test Track. It didn't come in as number one, it came in as uh, I think number three. Then it was a Bugatti Bear on 16.4. Here's the Pagani Zonda F, pretty much the same as the Zonda Ro F Roadster, only has a roof. And this is the Pagani Zonda S Roadster, and uh, it's pretty. it says right there 2 C12 S Roadster, but this is actually a Zonda S. So, let's take the Zonda C12 S out first. And that's up, up delayed, I don't know how to pronounce this name. There's a small glitch on this car when you go in reverse. There's little lights next to the uh, turn signal lamps. Uh, l light up brighter when you... Uh, with the, they light up with the reverse lights, which is kind of weird. Uh, damage the car, sorry about that, guys. That's not that bad. So anyway, we're going to do a lap around this area. The thing I love about Zondas is that they always backfire a lot. For some reason this one's not backfiring. Only the top two exhausts out of the four uh, backfire. Yeah, you saw the backfiring and I just failed. Because I was too busy looking at it backfiring. So yeah, you see it backfiring a little bit. Whoops. Fail on my end. So yeah, you see the little yellow flames coming out of the top exhaust. So obviously they want to come out of the top exhaust. So let's go back to my house and pick up the next Zonda, the F. Every single Zonda in this game backfires, so it's pretty cool. Wait for my camera to focus. There we go. This one sounds a lot more cooler. It's very loud. So as you can see, this one's backfiring too. Every single Zonda in the game backfires, like I said. This one has all four exhausts backfiring, so it's pretty cool. For some reason, it's not backfiring. Pretty good car this, but I see the chin twig is the best. But if you're going for a cheap car, the S is the best for a cheap Zonda. And it's an A2 Zonda, so you can use it in your A2 race. I turned out, it's pretty good. Just don't use, if these are A1 cars, don't use this, these in the A1 race. Because it's not gonna end well. So now we're taking out the Roadster F. Got, it's the same. It's it's pretty much exactly the same lap as loud as the normal lap. How much did I damage it? Ah, a little. There you go. It's backfiring. During the daytime, it's way easier to see it backfiring, which is kind of weird because you'd expect it to backfire, have a brighter flame at nighttime than the, in the daytime. This, these, this, oh, and I forgot to mention the Roadster Zondas do not come with roofs at all. They do not have any kind of roofs. In 
you go into the settings, to look for roof, there are no roof. There is no roof available, but there are windows. I love riding, driving like this with this with just all the windows down and no roof. It makes the car more interesting. There you go, it's backfiring a lot now. The last, my last Honda. Ditch and twig. And I know what you're all thinking. All those Zondas that you saw, they have uh, this, all top speeds. They can actually go faster than this Zonda. This one can do only 218, those can do like 220. So they're way faster than the Zonda. Because in this game you have the limiters on, all those top speeds on the cars, they were actually the cars with the limiters on. This one's really fast, I like this one a lot. I like the speed. That's probably why Max probably bought this thing, because it's amazing, it looks cool. But be aware, this car will cost you, will cost about one, mil, one, and a, one million and a quarter. So it's 1250000 so it's about that much. It's quite an expensive car, but take in, keep in mind, the tricolor is even more expensive. It's two and a half million. Because there are probably less made of those than these. And just look at this, this thing looks cool. It comes in a standard as white, but you can take it to the paint shop and paint it whatever color you want. The area that's white is gonna turn So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.